Hello, my name is Eder Porto. I am Products and Resources Manager at the user group Wiki Movimento Brasil. In this slide, you can see my usernames and my email in case you want to contact me. And my presentation is titled Technical Developments and Challenges in Glen Week Initiatives, Museu de Ipiranga. I want to throw some light at some topics we faced in this partnership and hope that uh, is useful for your partnerships as well. So for a bit of context, the partnership between Wikimovimento Brasil and Museu de Ipiranga started in 2017. And as of today, we have uploaded around 32,000 media files to Wikimedia Commons and have created uh, 32,000 items in Wikidata. In 2020, we created a new project called Wikipedia Initiative Novo Museu de Piranga, or in English, uh, Wikipedia Initiative New Ipiranga Museum. In this new project, the goal it was to build an open and collaborative knowledge culture and develop tools and processes to improve the insertion of the museum in the open internet uh, ecology, especially the Wikimedia environment. For that, we established a sustainable digital community to act in production, circulation, outreach, and educational appropriation of content related to the institutions, collections, and research of the Museu de Piranga. Also, we focused on innovation and development of products and technological processes broadly related to digital humanities and informational curation in the semantic web. I want to talk about what I think is the next step in every big GlamWiki partnership, that is data round tripping. In this diagram, each block represents a step in this uh, data round tripping process. The first branch of the process is when the institution donates their data and images to the Wikimedia projects, usually by a GlamWik partnership. Doesn't need to follow this path, but in our experience in the projects that we held, this uh, seems to be the optimal path. What it was, and it still is a challenge, is how the information modified or added by the volunteers of the Wiki Movement community travels back into the original source. For that, we built this proposal in which we learned from other GlowWeek experiences like the MET and the Swedish National Heritage Board to guide the implementation of a methodology to in fact make the round trip. The reason anyone would want to do this is pretty obvious. Wikimedians and Glam visitors can and do improve information they are interested about throughout editathons, wiki context, campaigns, workshops, and even organically. So in 2020 and 2021, we developed alongside with other activities in this project, a series of metadata applications called Wikimuseo de Piranga with the goal uh, provide a user-friendly interface to users improve the information provided by the museum. Not only that, but to help the research groups of the museum get answers for their questions. We had a few challenges that are divided into research problems related to defining the questions. And for that, we met several times with the research team uh, to discuss the applications into technical challenges like learn how to build an app on TwoForge. Thankfully, there are some tutorials available and the always present outreach. And for that, we tested the apps in some of our events and made adjustments accordingly. Today, we have six applications, each one varying in purpose, like hunting trees in a photo, uh, describing clothes of people depicted in our artwork, uh, identifying the brands of objects of the collections, identify ornaments of those objects, uh, contribute images of similar objects and describe its usage. And my personal favorite, identify heraldry uh, elements of coats of arms in the collection, in the objects of the collection. Thank you.